Oh, my. Well, let me tell you, I know you're tired. I know it's late. I know you're about to go and get your midnight snack of Taco Bella Mountain Dew products, but there's something I need to share with you, and that is you stole my my Bart Simpson wallet. It meant an awful lot to me. In fact, it was a family heirloom. I dropped it at a library. It fell out of my pants. I had a hole in my pants. I'm too poor to get new pants. And it's your fault. You took it. And you took everything that was inside of it. Need I tell you everything that was inside of my Bart Simpson wallet? Well, if, if I did, I would have to make you an offer that you can't refuse. Does anyone remember The Simpsons? It's a television program that actually not a lot of people know about. It's the show in which all the characters are drawn in yellow because they're all scared, hence why they're drawn in yellow. It's the show that takes place in a small town of Springfield in the great state of Oregon that has a nuclear power plant. It's about what happens when someone who doesn't know how to handle nuclear physics is kept in charge of a nuclear meltdown power plant station. Basically, in the first season, it, it, it melts. So the, the town just burns right the heck down. They even show you scenes of, of people's melted face, skins melting off like delicious lasagna Alfredo, cheese, pasta coatings, mozzarella, cheese, sauce of various basil, tomato flavors. That's what it looks like as it's all oozing down their heads and they're screaming in agony like a dog whistle. So loud that I was surprised that I could hear it and not just dogs like Santa's little helper, the dog that the Simpsons family adopts in the first episode, just in time for the meltdown. So that sadly and ironically, the dog dies along with all of them. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you, I was an intern for the Simpsons. My name is Gat Broning. I worked in Portland, Portland, Oregon, and then was moved to Springfield, Oregon, in order to help drawing on the show. I named the Simpsons after my family's pet ape, Simpson. Simpson was a good monkey. When he wasn't flinging his feces at people, he was actually making them breakfast, presumably not out of his feces. But what I can tell you about that ape, what I can tell you about that ape is he knew absolutely nothing about nuclear physics. So if he was put in charge of a nuclear power plant, no one would blame him. And that's who they modeled Homer Simpson off of. They modeled Homer Simpson, Simpson's family patriarch, after my pet monkey Simpson. You might think this is funny, but it wasn't funny because you can't go near the town of Springfield, Oregon anymore because it's all nuclear melted down and the radiation isn't set to expire for number 576 years. And by then, the second coming is going to happen if you know the ancient Jewish prophecies. So it ain't going to matter at that point. Uh, at least the new earth will be made. Brand new earth. You think people go to heaven? People don't go to heaven. They're going to have a new earth where all the bodily things we do, eat, sleep, have sex, will all be perfected. You won't even need to be married to do any of that. Anyway, yeah, someone stole my wallet, my Simpsons wallet. And I told you, I told you earlier, if you may recall, that I uh, had a certain something inside of that wallet that was very important to me. In fact, what's inside of that wallet is the nuclear codes to all of the major cities in these United States of America, including all 50 states, 48 mainland states, the two states that are not on the mainland, Hawaii and Alaska, Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia, and may I add the great state of northern Tacoma, where the Simpsons family lives. Did I not tell you that they lived in Oregon? Well, guess what? If you had been paying attention, you would know that the Simpsons live in a state that touches the corners of five different states. And that state is located in southern Oregon and not truly the Oregon mainland itself. It's a state that's been annexed, but no one knows that it even happened outside of the great state of North Tacoma itself. Can you imagine what it's like to think you lived in Oregon this entire time? I'm glad I don't live in Oregon. Not right now. Not anymore. 
not after the nuclear meltdown happened. Anyway, I'm a ghost. I wander from library to library with my wallet in the hope that someone will find my wallet and find the nuclear codes and let everything explode. One last thought, if you don't believe me, let me tell you the shocking truth. The voice of Bart Simpson, a charming woman named Nancy Cartwright, a Scientologist. And if you studied Scientology, you would know that many, 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 many millions of years ago, a great alien conqueror named Xenu dropped a bunch of bombs and volcanoes and released Thetans, the dead souls of those who are destroyed in the nuclear explosions. Hence why you have problems today. Your Thetan may exist inside of you, just outside of you, or in some place far off. And with that said, who knows the truth of this but Nancy Cartwright, who knew all along the nuclear codes and the purposes of the nuclear explosions. Now do you see? Because to be honest, if you don't, I'm really tired of explaining this to you. I'm a ghost. I'm just going to go to bed. It doesn't matter to me. But you, if, you, if you're still... Uh, Holding on the life, then shit, you need to you need to say your prayers or get right with God before it's too late. You thought you were going to game the system and, and ask for forgiveness on your deathbed, didn't you? Why you little ack 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 ack.
Yeah. <laughs> 